Viswajit Das. Uh, I have been into advertising for around uh, 25 years, uh, but always painting and uh, sketching and sculpture. It has always like you know being uh, very close to me. So formally then I gave up advertising and just kept it aside and got into the mainstream painting. Uh, I experiment a lot uh, with uh, pen, inks, then watercolor. Basically, I work in all the mediums. I do sculptures also. And I've been teaching also for kids for the last 20 years. So now, in this exhibition at IIC, I am highlighting my sketches, uh, pen and ink work, with a touch of color. Because in life, there is always a little bit of color. Uh, so uh, I get uh, inspired, I get influenced uh, by my surroundings. I give a lot of value to observation, people around me, my support system, my like you know when I go on the road, I see different people, they inspire me. I see kids, they inspire me. Kids are very close to me. like I work a lot with kids. So in my painting, these things are actually like you can actually see. These are the things like you know I highlight. Uh, I am very like uh, influenced by few people and their characters, famous people. Quite naturally, we all get influenced by them. Try to learn from them. So in my exhibition, there are a few people there whom whose uh, portraits are there. So I try to capture their mood. I try to capture their character in that uh, without going too much into photographic details. So um, that is it like I think. Well about the uh, work, my this exhibition at IIC, uh, I have named it as Fine Lines. The name has been given by my wife. Hmm. So it is all about lines like you know, we always scribble. And I find uh, pen and ink is one of the easiest medium. At the same time, it is one of the most difficult medium because there is no correction in it. We can't correct. Suppose if I'm working on a piece for an hour or two or maybe two days and suddenly something goes wrong, my whole that piece goes waste. Like, you know, there is no correction. So the focus level has to be intense. You have to be always attached to your piece. Yeah, like I take uh, inspiration, as I said, that I take inspirations from things around me and my support system is very important for me, like my family. So they help me a lot, giving me the space, giving me the time. And uh, by support system, I mean like, you know, like uh, when I move out on the street, I see people. They're also a part of your support system. You observe them, you learn from them and they're always around you. If you see like, you know, small things in life and uh, we don't actually care, like, you know, if I just tell you, like, you know, you just go out and which is the first tree you see. Suddenly, if I tell you, you see there are 10 trees in front of your house, but we have never observed them. If you see an insect, though the behavior of that insect, the behavior of that bird, they are so cute and so beautiful. So I try to portray them in my painting. They are my stars. They are my heroes. And then quite naturally when I'm doing a lot of ideas, they come. I try to give a little abstract renderation of them. Like suppose I'm walking on the street, I'm sitting in a car thinking about a meeting and I see a girl who is actually doing a tightrope walking. We think that it's a very easy thing, but that girl is doing that for survival. The girl is doing that to earn that piece of bread, like, you know, but yeah, it is very intense. It needs a uh, regular practice. So I try to highlight these small, small things. Even when you swing, sit in a swing and you're swinging. So you need that expertise to go higher and higher. It gives you that thing. So these are a few things like, you know, I try to highlight in my painting. Thank you. Thank you.